This was a patient who's got heavily, cal this was a concentric calcification in the LAD. You can see that balloon, it actually ruptured without dilating the lesion. Almost a great situation for use of uh, intravascular lithotripsy. An inability to open up a concentric calcified lesion by a non-compliant balloon, which ruptured in this case. And then uh, this is, uh, we just created enough space to do a pre-analysis of the, of the lesion itself. It was fairly extensive calcification. You can see that at many points, it actually was fairly going up to uh, a millimeter in depth, clearly more than 0.5 millimeter. It was a longish lesion, greater than five millimeters, and it was concentric calcification. And this is the balloon, actually, you can see at four atmospheres. And as you see on the left, uh, on, on the right, the balloon opens up at low pressures after delivery of, I think it was uh, 10 pulses, this case, but anyway, the whole vessel was uh, given another 40 pulses up and down. And uh, this is a post shock wave. And then I'll show you the post shock wave run. What is nice is that you see these cracks and fissures at multiple points going up to the media, going into the calcified uh, calcifications. This is, this is a lovely one, which actually has gone right nicely uh, into the calcification. So numerous cracks and fissures as you crack it at low pressure. So four atmospheres, and once you've opened it up, you go up to six. So that's what you keep doing across the length of the lesion. And this is after stent implantation and dilatation to higher pressures of our always OCT guidance. And you can see that the stent is very nicely and uniformly expanded, giving large and uniform lumen, uh, 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 right up to the ostium without any edge dissections.